In nature, things are always changing. That includes the surroundings for those taking a trip up the James River. Silver carp are making their presence known. My crew has been on the river for seven years, and in the first two years, uh, we, we saw a few fish, and it would be a big deal if one happened to jump in your boat. You'd call your friends, you'd take in pictures, um, and you'd typically see them three or four times a summer. Biologist Sam Stuckel is one member of the South Dakota Game Fish and Parks Department that is taking note of the new inhabitants. He says in past years, the fish were larger, but less numerous. Now this area just south of Yankton is exploding with flying fish. These fish appear to be increasing exponentially, especially in the, the calmer still water areas around the James River, the Niobrara River, uh, backwaters out on the main channel. Now it's an everyday thing to uh, see tens or dozens or hundreds of these fish. The question is, what can be done about these fish? The answer to that is, it's really not known at this time, and plenty more research is needed. That is why this crew that typically studies the endangered sturgeon is now spending time tracking a fish that appears to have no problem populating. But what they know is only a drop in the bucket compared to what the entire scope of their impact will be. We may not see a major effect to our game fish and other species, or it might be a complete disaster as these Asian carps increase. And for the industries that rely on fishing and water recreation, that is the multi-million dollar question. On the James River near Yankton, Sean Neistat, Kelloland News.